Welcome to the Music Podcast for Kids. We're your hosts, Mr. Henry and Mr. Fight, Music, music educators, educators extraordinaire. The Music Podcast for Kids is a fun and educational podcast where we learn and explore the best subject ever, music. Today's episode, we are learning about George Friedrich Handel. And now, the music joke of the day. We love jokes. So if you have a joke, please visit our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com, to submit your joke. And guess what? It doesn't even have to be a music joke. It can be any joke. We will read and enjoy your joke on the podcast and also let everyone know who it came from and where you are in this great, big, wonderful music world. Our joke of the day is... What type of songs do planets sing? Huh? Neptunes. <laughs> Get it? Neptunes like the planet. Make sure to send in your jokes by visiting our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com. A link to the website can be found in the show notes. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you are enjoying the show so far. Please subscribe to the podcast to receive the latest episodes and leave a review through iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, get updates on what we are up to through Facebook and Instagram by finding us at Music Podcast for Kids. Links will be found in the show notes. On to the show! And now, the Music Spotlight. George Friedrich Handel was born in Halle, Germany in 1685. He died in London, England in 1759 at the age of 74. Wow, that's pretty old for back then. His dad had an interesting job. He was a barber surgeon, and as you can tell by the name, he was a barber, he cut people's hair, and he was a surgeon, he cut people. What? Well, you know, to help them by doing surgery on them. There aren't any barber surgeons around today, thankfully. As a child, George was very, very good at playing keyboard instruments, like the harpsichord and the organ. There's even a legend that says that George's mom helped him sneak a small keyboard instrument up to the attic of their house so he could practice. It's said that his father did not want George to be a musician. The story continues that George would practice late at night while everyone else was asleep, and that's how he got so good on the keyboard instruments. When George was 21, he moved to Italy to study Italian opera. Then, when he was 25, he moved to England, and he began producing operas in England. Once the operas went out of style, George began producing oratorio. Huh? Cookie! No, that's not a kind of cookie. It's actually a kind of like an opera without the costumes and the scenery. George Friedrich Handel was like a rock star in his day. He was able to figure out what people liked to hear, and he wrote his music accordingly. George had a pretty cool job in that he was able to work for two different kings, the King of England, King George I and King George II. King George I was actually from Germany. That's right, he was the King of England, but he was from Germany. Some people think that's how George Friedrich Handel got his job. Because he was from Germany, and so was the king. One of George's most famous pieces of music is the Water Music Suite. I imagine he might have written it after having a conversation with the king that went something like this. 
The king may have said to George, George, I so enjoy riding down the river Thames on my barge, but uh, I'm getting a little bored, you might say. Uh, would it be possible for you to write down some music for me that I might listen to it as I ride down the river? And George might have said, Why, yes, your majesty, I can do that no problem at all, no problem at all, no problem at all. So the king would be on his boat with all of his friends, and another boat would be connected to it with all the musicians playing water music. Can you guess why they called it water music? Remember... They were riding on a river, and a river is made of... Water! Another famous piece of music is called the Royal Fireworks. George Friedrich Handel wrote the Royal Fireworks music for a fireworks show put on by the King of England. Something wild happened during the performance of the Royal Fireworks music. Somebody accidentally set off one of the fireworks, and it hit the wooden stage that George and the other musicians were on. The stage caught on fire. Handel was very, very mad that that happened. But he wasn't mad that the stage caught on fire, and he could have been hurt. Can you believe that he was mad because somebody had the nerve to interrupt his music by catching the stage on fire? Another famous piece of music, written by George Friedrich Handel, is called Messiah. It's all about the life of Jesus. One of the most famous songs from the Messiah is called the Hallelujah Chorus. It's a very exciting song. You may have heard it played on a TV show or a movie when something really cool happens to one of the characters and the choir comes in with Hallelujah. Well... When the king of England heard the hallelujah chorus, he stood up. And when the king stands up, everybody else has to stand up too. That's just how it was. Nobody knew why the king stood up. Some people thought maybe he was standing out of respect. Others thought maybe he had some tummy troubles and he had to stand up to stretch out and get more comfortable. To this day, nobody really knows why the king stood up. But the funny part is, even today, Every time the Hallelujah Chorus is performed, guess what the audience does? They stand up. We still don't know why. We just stand up because the king stood up 300 years ago. The other amazing thing about Handel's Messiah is that he wrote the entire work, which takes about two hours to perform. He wrote it from beginning to end in less than a month. That's right, less than a month to write all of that amazing music. George Friedrich Handel was known for his ability to write music very quickly, and the music he wrote was very good. Now, near the end of George's life, his eyes started to fail him, and it turns out that he had cataracts. Cataracts are kind of like when you see cloudy all the time, like a foggy window. Now, there was a doctor, a famous doctor, named Dr. Taylor, who told George that he could fix his cataracts. So George paid Dr. Taylor to do a cataract surgery, and that's what Dr. Taylor did. But Dr. Taylor forgot to do something very important. He forgot to clean his tools. Ew. Oh, boy, that's not good at all. Because his tools were not clean when he did the surgery on George Friedrich Handel, Handel got an infection in both of his eyes, and he went blind. So he was blind for about five or six years at the end of his life. He still wrote some music with help from someone to write it down for him. He also still conducted some of his own music because he already knew what it sounded like. But he didn't do much else with music because he couldn't see. George Friedrich Handel lived during the Baroque period. Everything in the Baroque period was fancy. Very fancy. In fact... George Friedrich Handel wore one of those fancy powdered wigs. The house George lived in, in London, is still there today, and it's a museum with a store on the bottom floor. Another great composer who lived after Handel, Ludwig van Beethoven, said that Handel is the greatest composer who ever lived. He said he would bare his head and kneel at his grave. Wow, what a compliment coming from such a great composer. Now, when Beethoven said he would bare his head, 
That doesn't mean that he would shave all his hair off his head or stick a big grizzly bear on top of his head. It meant that he would take off his hat out of a great respect for George Friedrich Handel. George Friedrich Handel is one of the most celebrated composers in history. He was a superstar and he wrote a lot of amazing music. So there you have it, Baroque composer George Friedrich Handel. Hallelujah. Hello there, Music Podcast for Kids listeners. This is Mr. Henry here to talk to you about the App of the Month. The App of the Month is an app called GarageBand. Um, You may have heard about this app before. It's a really wonderful um, program. Uh, The unfortunate thing is that it's only found on Apple products. Uh, So if you have an iPhone or an iMac, um, you can use this this program called GarageBand. Um, And it is created for um, folks to make their own music. So it's a, it's a really powerful app, um, and, uh, and it comes with all of the Apple products. So um, one thing that it has in there that is really cool are the loops. So a loop is basically when um, the, the program already has uh, these instruments that were pre-recorded, And all you do is press play to listen to it, but then you can move it around and you can layer these different loops together. So you might have a drum track um, and you pick which one you like the best and you put it uh, into the the sidebar and it'll show that, that music for the drum set. Then you might add a guitar and you piece it together with the drum set. So you start to create your own music, and you really don't even have to know how to play any of the music. You can still piece it all together. So it's a lot of fun. It's really uh, user-friendly. So you know, kids of all ages can really play around with this app, um, and there, there's so many neat things in it. So that's the one we suggest uh, checking out, Garage Band. Thank you so much. Time to wrap it up, folks. Thank you so much for tuning into the Music Podcast for Kids. We hope you enjoyed the show, and most importantly, learned something cool today about music. Remember to send in your jokes or even a topic in music you would like us to discuss by visiting our website, themusicpodcastforkids.com. If you are interested in awesome educational and fun songs for your kids to listen and sing along with, please visit brucefight.com. Music is available to download with iTunes, CD Baby, and Facebook. And most streaming platforms like Spotify and Amazon Radio. Links will be found in the show notes. If you are interested in learning how to play the piano with a fun and engaging curriculum geared toward kids, please subscribe to Mr. Henry's YouTube channel called Mr. Henry's Music World. Links will be found in the show notes. Please visit iTunes to leave a review of the podcast and also share the podcast with friends, relatives, aliens, whoever. Again, we thank you so much for tuning in.